Hello everyone, we're back again for our weekly message of inspiration and love for all of you. As you can see, I'm holding a cheesecake because tomorrow is Shavuot, is the rabbi's message. Yes, tomorrow night begins Shavuot, but Friday will be and Saturday for us to celebrate Shavuot. And the celebration of Shavuot, everybody knows, is that we celebrate Matan Torah, the giving of the Torah. One of the main words that describe the mood and the, the state that the children of Israel were before they received the Torah is described as Vayichan Sham Israel Negedahar, that the people of Israel, they encamp as one, as a unit, Vayichan instead of Vayachanu, that is a plural, it employs the singular, that it is they encamp their united, our rabbis tell us, Rashi said. The question is, where did they get this unity from? Uh, if I remember when Moshe Rabenu, uh, the, uh, he was given the, uh, the task to be the redeemer, to go from uh, where he was living at the time with his father-in-law, Yitro, and then he was supposed to go back to Egypt and, and redeem the children of Israel, that he, was, he was told that, that he is supposed to uh, go and, and, and meet and speak with everybody about the redemption. But prior to that, how did he end up with Yitro? Because he had to flee, he had to, he had to run away. Why? He saw the Jewish people themselves yeah, like Rashi said, when he tried to interfere and separate two Jews who were fighting, the, the Torah says that the reaction was so negative toward him that they said, Who made you a judge upon us? You better get out of here. Don't even interfere. And Rashi comes and he said, The Aglo al Sherabi Israel Reshaim dal Torim Amar. He said that he saw they were informers there, and perhaps they would not have the merit to be redeemed because of that. That means they were, they were, they were the people themselves, the Jewish people. They were disunited. How come they, they all of a sudden? He said that when they arrived to the, to the, by the mountain there before receiving the Torah, they are united. How did they come to be united See, from being petty slanderers to united? And also, uh, how did they achieve su uh, such a state now from being, uh, from being uh, whiners and, and, and complainers to all of a sudden people that are united? Well, everybody thinks that they were they are by the foot of the camp and they were united simply just like that because of that they merited to receive the Torah. No. The reason why they were united because they received the Torah. Because they once they were prepared to receive the Torah they had a purpose in life, a mission. And because of that once you have a mission in life you really become united with a good purpose. And this is what we know. Mm -hmm. For example, their petty lives, why? Well, they petty, they had no goal, no vision, they worry about small stuff, there was no large picture in their life, they were obsessed with the moment, they didn't see a future. Once they knew they are going to receive the Torah, they saw a future, they saw something that it is wonderful in their life, they are going to be the representative of God in this world. And this is the message for everybody, all of us. We're going through difficult times, no matter what. But the resolve that we have, that we have a mission. Our mission is that we are going to show our family while we were in quarantine and we were thinking and we were re uh, 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 reflecting on, what, on our lives. We become, in a way, better and thinking about what is important in life. That message we are going to give to our family, our children, our community, and even to the world. Amen. And this. Amen. Bye.